This recipe comes from a vintage cookbook I have, the New Antoinette Pope School cookbook. And they call it Crab Apple Eggs. I don't know if you can read that. But if you have the book, it's on page 41. First, I'll quickly show you how to boil the eggs for optimum taste and appearance. We'll just do three eggs. Put the cold eggs in your pot and then cover them with water from your sink. They should be completely immersed. Pop them on the stove. All right, then you're going to heat them up until they're boiling. And as soon as they start to boil, remove them from the heat and cover them up with your pot lid, of course. And you can, I usually let them sit for about 10 minutes like that, off the heat and covered. Okay, next what you wanna do is get three small bowls or maybe mugs and get some uh, food coloring. You can create whatever colors you want. I'm just going to do a yellow one. Since yellow is so light, I use a lot of it. Probably like 15 or 20 drops. <clears throat> Red, which will probably turn out to be pink. And blue. There we go. And my eggs are still not boiling. So we're just gonna wait a little while longer. Eggs are boiling. So now I'm gonna cover and turn off the heat. And move them over here. And now we'll wait like 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. So next we have to move quickly. And get rid of this hot water and Put some cold Let's water use on them. a colander when I'm pouring the hot water out. Let's see if you can see this. Just like like that, so the eggs don't fall out. I've already done it though, so now I'm gonna put the cold water. Okay, the eggs have to be as hot as you can handle them to complete the look so they can retain the shape that you want them to have. Okay, after you peel an egg, you're gonna squash it like this. Put your thumb on top and your index finger on the bottom and apply a lot of pressure without cracking it. If you've overcooked the egg, you'll know because the impressions won't last. And if you've undercooked the egg, when you're squishing it like this between your fingers, it will crack easily. So far, oh, there's a crack right there. I hope these turned out okay. Um, <clears throat> the book says to hold them like this for a half a minute. Last time I did this, it took a little longer than half a minute though. Let's see, how does that look? That's a good shape. Now I'm gonna plop it in the yellow food coloring right there. So it'll turn into a little lemon looking thing and now i'm going to peel the other so ones. all three of my eggs are coloring and here is my one major casualty this one just uh busted but i'm still coloring it anyways just so you can see what color it would be and then that's the pink one let's see how the yellow one's looking so far oh it's done let me go get another paper towel to put the next on. step is not in the recipe in the book but I added it because it helps the crab apple egg stand up on its own without uh, tipping over as much especially if you put it on a plate it's gonna be sliding around so I slice off gently some of the bottom right there and there there we go and then I have thyme growing in my backyard, but you can use any little 
leafy stem you like and you take a toothpick and you insert it in the top to make a hole and then in that hole you insert your little sprig of whatever you decide to pick. It could be parsley or any little leaf. And then it looks really cute like that. Now I'm gonna do the red one. I think it should be ready by now. There it is. Let's move this one over. And we'll cut the bottom just like we did the yellow one so that it stands up. There we go. And stick the sprig in there. There. Uh, but they're the finished product. Pretty cute. I used them at a dinner party once um, as edible garnishes on our dinner plates. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>